Hello, accountability buddies. I'm Les, and this is another episode of Less is More Healthy, and I am out on a bike ride um, playing hooky from work. Not really hooky, because I called called my boss and talked to my boss about it, or actually texted her, and I had a comp day in the bank, so I had to take, take care of something personal, and so I decided to take the rest of the day to ride my bike. Um, yeah, just really nice being out here today on the bike and um, getting some exercise in. Tomorrow is, marks June 1st and the start of the Pride Ride for the Trevor Project. Um, so I'm not doing my big ride today. Um, I'm gonna w bank that into the Trevor Project ride. I'm hoping to do a 25 mile ride uh, tomorrow on the rail trail, get out there early, uh, churn out 25 miles at the minimum for the Trevor Project. Um, I'll put a link to the Trevor Project fundraiser uh, in the description, maybe maybe on the screen somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah, the the ride today has been really nice. This I've got I did I think three miles on road, two miles so far on this trail system, probably another mile on this trail, and I'll probably do a few more miles after that um, around around the city. Maybe I'll get a cup of coffee. I don't know. I'm trying to make, make the day out of it out of my comp day here. A um, little bit of a health update, something I've been wanting to talk about. Um, my blood glucose numbers are better. Um, you know, those A1C numbers had risen up over the winter, um, which was to be expected because I wasn't exercising the way I do in the summer and fall. So um, my doctor really wants to see those come down. But... Um, one of the things that came up during my last appointment is that um, that actually really freaked my specialist out um, is that when I've been doing these longer rides, uh, I haven't, I don't usually eat in the middle of them. And because of the medication that I'm on, I'm at risk for hypoglycemia. Now the hallmark of type two diabetes is hype, hyper, what is it for when it's high? Um, <laughs> like your, your, your blood sugar uh, is usually high and your body has trouble regulating it. But when you exercise and you're on type 2 diabetes medication, you can get hypoglycemia, which is basically low blood sugars. And that can be really dangerous. And I've had one major instance of that in the past um, where I almost passed out. As one of the reasons I don't drink anymore is... Um, because the al alcohol interacts with a lot of type 2 diabetes medications and lowers your blood sugar um, drastically and really, really fast. It's also like wreaking havoc on your liver and your kidneys, and, and it's not a good thing to do. Um, but I had gone out with work, and, you know, they bought us lunch and drinks were on the house. So it was like, all right, well, I'll have a tasty microbrew, you know, local beer and you know I you know I'm a sipper of beer I'm not a glugger so I was sipping the beer and after I finished the beer I was like damn I really don't feel good and then a bunch of us were went for a walk and in the middle of the walk I was like dude let's go to the cafe because I think I my blood sugar is low because I feel you can feel it when your blood sugar gets low or I can anyway and I feel um like lightheaded and dizzy and not great um, so I, we got into the cafe, did our order and I took my blood sugar and it was 50, which is not super low, but that's like kind of like a warning bell. That's like your red flags going off. It's like, oh, okay, something's not right here. So ate a cookie and my blood sugar still didn't spike. You know, so normally like if I eat a cookie or I drink something sugary, uh, my blood sugar will spike up to like 200 pretty, pretty quickly, but it didn't. I took my blood sugar again and it was still right around hundred, which is where I want to keep it. Um, so the main reason I quit drinking is because I don't want, and I say drinking, um, where I, I no longer drink alcohol is because, um, I can't take the risk of passing out randomly. And so anyway, this relates to <laughs> big rides on the bike because riding the bike will lower my blood sugar. So when I ride the bike, my blood sugar will drop down and then it'll spike up again as my body starts converting fat to sugar and, and doing all of that stuff or converting what I've eaten into blood sugar. Um, and so as my body's 
doing that my blood sugar is fluctuating throughout the ride. And basically what my, my doctor was saying is that I need to keep that a little more stable. And so I need to take in some carbohydrates throughout the ride. But what I don't want to do is like have it spike super high um, during the ride or even after the ride. So I just have to be a little more careful than most people when I am out riding because I don't want to get into a situation where I'm on the bike and I pass out. Now, generally speaking, I do feel it. Like I feel my, I feel when my body is, the blood sugars are getting low. So I'm not overly worried about it happening suddenly because I usually can feel it. And, you know, if I start to feel things not feeling quite right, I can pull the bike over, sit down and chill for a minute, have some of my electrolyte solution. So um, in, in conversations with my doctor, the solution for me is that I um, have a lemonade electrolyte solution that actually has sugar in it, which is something that I generally avoid. I avoid sugary beverages, sugary, sugary things, and super carbohydrate laden things. Um, but for the ride, I just fill a 600 milliliter water bottle, basically a 16 ounce water bottle, um, full of cold water, add um, two scoops of, or two tablespoons of country time, pink lemonade or regular lemonade, and then um, an electrolyte packet. And I mix my own electrolyte packet. Um, so basically like I use the element um, recipe on their website and I basically put a quarter teaspoon of that into that water bottle, shake it up, keep it in the fridge. And then when I go for my ride, I bring that with me. And what I do is like when I stop, like I am now, I take a couple of big swigs off the bottle and that has really stabilized my blood sugars. I'm not finding myself having big, big, big uh, peaks anymore. And it's not dropping down around 50, which was something that I did have not really problems with, um, but it did happen on occasion on rides last year, especially the longer rides. So you know, just working on keeping that stabilized is really important uh, for me and my body. Um, I don't know, like if any of you work with your diabetes specialist or your, your doctor on stabilizing your blood sugars, what do you do for that? How do you do it? Um, this is just what is working for me and my body. Um, something might be totally different for you. Um, I also bring a protein bar with me. Um, so I, I look for protein bars that have like a one-to-one carb to protein ratio. So basically like even amounts of carbs, even amounts of protein. Um, I like Orgain bars. I've talked about those on the channel before. Um, they have, you know, that mushy protein bar texture, but they work. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of thing that I, I try to try to keep doing um, while I'm riding is have that protein bar. You know, for short rides, I don't need that. But when I'm doing anything over like 15 miles, I do try to have that electrolyte solution. I'm also like a massive sweater. Um, so I just sweat profusely throughout my rides and it does get better, um, towards the end of the season. I sweat a lot less, but, um, yeah. Um, overall, I'm just pretty stoked with how the bike is going and how these rides are going and where my fitness is already in the season. You know, I'm hitting June 1st and, I am uh, feeling a lot fitter, um, feeling a lot more comfortable on the bike and with the longer miles. I'm not, you know, about to puke my guts out, <laughs> so which was definitely a problem that I had last year on longer rides. Um, yeah, so I think with that, I'm going to leave it there, and um, I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, I hope that you find this uh, information in my little vlog here helpful. And uh, if you have any information to share about how you're tackling your type 2 diabetes, put that in the comments. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks and bye.